guys, Dave here from Hit Fitness, just bringing you a, another drill that you can do away from the gym. Now, I find people start boxing, the hardest thing to pick up initially is the footwork. It is almost like learning to walk again, but it's vitally important you have good footwork. And then from your footwork, everything else will follow. So like I said, I'm gonna bring you a couple of drills that you can do away from the gym that will help improve your footwork faster. So I'm gonna use two bits of kit, and I'm gonna take you through both of them and the drills that you can do. Don't worry if you haven't got the kit, you can either purchase it on eBay, quite cheap, or failing that, feel free to use some cones or some jumpers or something you have at home uh, to replicate kind of how the kit is set up here. Okay, so the very first footwork drill, we're gonna utilize the speed ladder or agility ladder. Okay, well, first thing we're going to do then is adopt our stance, hands up. Okay, so the footwork simply in and out to begin with. Okay, pushing off the, uh, the back leg, moving the lead leg into range. Into range will be your lead leg inside the ladder, and then just push them back out. Okay, make sure we go forwards, lead leg leads, back leg follows, lead leg two inches, back leg moves two inches. Vice versa, when you're going backwards, back leg moves two inches, lead leg follows. Then we'll move to our left. Left foot moves first, right leg moves second, or in this case, my rear leg, so I'm obviously orthodox. So I'm gonna step into range, back out, move across. In, out, move across. Making sure my feet don't cross over as I move. In and out, and then move. In and out, move, in and out, get into the ladder. At this point, you can just come back. So moving in the opposite direction, so moving your right leg first, because you're going obviously to your right, moving across down the ladder. You can add a few little pivots if you want at the end of the ladder. So you might step into range, Pivot, step out, step back in, pivot, step out. Different sorts of drills that you can do with a ladder. You can even go all the way through it, so you're moving your feet twice, and then move across. You can add some shots if you want. You can step in, throw the jab, step out, double step, jab, out. Again, up to you, but you can have a good play. The important thing is you're moving the correct foot at the correct time. Move forwards, front leg, back leg, moving back, Back leg, front leg, moving to your left, left and right. Always making sure there is that stagger in your stance. Okay, so drilling this, couple of minutes, almost like three, two minute rounds, uh, will seriously help to improve your Okay, so the second drill utilizes, quite simply, a small like hula hoop, uh, a circular, circular object. Just placing it on the floor, and again, adopting your stance. There's a couple of things you can do with this. You can use it similar to how you'd use the ladder, by stepping into range and stepping out, possibly doubling through and then out, making sure the correct legs move at the correct time. You can add some pivots, so step in, you can do a 90 degree pivot, step out. You can then continue this all the way around the circle, or you can step in, pivot the other way, step out. Okay, so different drills that you can try there. You can step in, pivot, Step out, step in, pivot, step out, making sure the feet are always moving at the right time and the correct foot is moving first. You can then obviously bring your punches in, in and out, pivot, jab, out. All those drills, you can drill them. Or you can work on doubles or treble jabs while pivoting. So you can step in, boom, 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 step back out, step in, boom, 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 step back out. Okay, loads of different drills you can try with the circle. Slowing it down, just making sure the correct feet are moving at the correct time, the balance is right, and getting your shots away. Two really simple drills that you can either bring into your class if you're an instructor, or you can drill yourself to make sure your footwork is where it should be. Okay? Right, I hope this helped. If you've got any comments, please leave them below, and I'll, uh, I'll try and answer them. Like I said, I hope this did help. Uh, stay tuned for more videos that will be coming very soon.